Hi and welcome to this video on the internet marketing that actually gets through. A lot of internet marketing posts and products promise that you will get results. If you believe most sales letters, results are available almost at the click of a mouse. But what actually works in real life? Is it really push button easy? Or do you need to do more to get the results you're after? Well, like most things that are worthwhile, internet marketing takes some effort. And like lots of things in life, the results aren't 100% predictable. But there are a few things you can do which will help tip the balance in your favour. And that's pretty much all you can hope to do. Because if it's 100% predictable, everyone will be doing it. So firstly, work in a niche that interests you. The reason for this is you won't find the time and effort that you need to put into making your internet marketing work is anywhere near as difficult because you're interested in it. For instance, if you read somewhere that bodybuilding is a good niche to get into, and I've not researched the idea, but it probably is, but you've got the body of a nine stone weakling and no intention of changing that, chance of you making a success in that niche is slim, and no pun intended there, even though there probably was one. But if you choose a niche where you're keen to take an interest, then you'll be more than happy to create new content in it on a regular basis, report your progress, and generally be willing and able to help other people succeed in your chosen area. And those factors alone will give you a much better chance of getting results than slogging away in a niche that just bores you to tears and you think of any excuse that you can't do something about it. Second thing is create content regularly and if you've read many of my posts or watched some of my videos you'll know that my preference is for written content um, even though you're watching a video because written content is the type of content that Google and other search engines prefer to index. And even if you choose to use videos, make sure that you add written content below them. It's not always something I'm as good at as I should be, but it's worth putting a reasonable amount of text below a video because it helps YouTube and Google to understand what the video is about. Some people also recommend editing or uploading a transcript to the video, and again, that's something I'm less good at than I'd prefer to be, partly because I've not really noticed much difference in rankings, but that could just be me. The video captions are in a separate file on YouTube's site. If you look in the HTML side, you'll find it's in a directory called Timed Text. So they're definitely available for search engines to index, which means since search engines do that kind of thing, they probably do. Anyway, back to creating content regularly. It's up to you how you define regularly. I'd, personally, I'd suggest it's more often than once in a blue moon. But it will depend on your schedule. Daily is good. Every few days works well. So does once a week. And even less often can work too. Because what happens is the search engine robots learn how often you add new content and they'll adjust their crawling frequency accordingly. It takes time and money to crawl your site because there's computer power involved and then they've got to do something with it. And if they only find nothing has changed, then they won't crawl as often. It's really that simple. And because it takes some time to learn, it means that if you start creating content more often, it will take a bit of time for the search engines to catch on to that. You can nudge them along, and if you use WordPress, that helps by sending a ping when you add a new post. But their computers take time to adjust, so you may not notice much difference initially. It's, it's a variable, yet another variable. And I've recently been posting more often on my own site, and I've noticed a small uptick in the amount of traffic I'm being sent since I've been doing that. And I suspect that after a few months of regularly adding new content, that uptick will get larger. Right, third point, get a few inbound links. And a major part of the search engine algorithms still is popularity. They mainly measure this from the amount of inbound links your site has. Precise formula is obviously a closely guarded secret because it is a trade secret, it's how they make a living. And I suspect it's now at least partially based on the search engine algorithms teaching themselves. That's certainly the case with Microsoft's Xbox. Uh, which does all sorts of weird things. But that means there's every reason to think the same technology has been applied, applied elsewhere. And Google pretty much admit they do that with things like their um, translate options and things like that. So I'd, I'd guess there's at least some portion of it is self-learning, untouched by human hand. Some inbound links, yeah, they're quite easy to get. If you turn your written article into a video like this one and a PDF, then you can add the link on YouTube, which I've done, and SlideShare, which I'll be doing, or whichever other document sharing site you use. Likewise, you can add links from LinkedIn posts and guest blogging, maybe via Fiverr if you select the blogs wisely, can also help if you don't overdo it. Other links, they're harder to get, but can help if the amount of time spent getting them doesn't outweigh the amount of help they give you. 
and you just need to suck it and see really decide that on a case by case basis for yourself and the final point we can do is keep doing it because a reasonable amount of consistency in pretty much anything is good practice makes perfect they say now don't be robotic about it don't don't just post every hour on the hour or every day at a certain time or whatever and that's one of the reasons auto blogging systems don't really work and lots of other reasons for that as well but it's not in our human nature to work like clockwork we just don't do it but if you set a schedule and do your best to keep to it that works pretty well when you don't manage to hit the schedule that's fine as long as you don't use the missed item as an excuse to give up completely and if you need more help feel free to check out the link below this video i'm quite happy to give you some help and point you in the right direction whatever happens though good luck and make sure you enjoy your internet marketing